गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी एंड अ वेरी हैप्पी संडे गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल वाव फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल द व्यूअर्स आर वॉचिंग दिस लाइव शो एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ऑलवेज सपोर्टिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेटिंग सेगमेंट्स टूडे वी आर एट स्ट्राइकर एडियोटेक विथ पायल आचार्य एंड वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट आई टी स्किल्स एंड हाउ इट विल हेल्प अस टू ग्रो मोर फाइंडिंग ऑल्टरनेट कैरियर्स और स्पेशली फॉर यंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड एक्सेट्रा so pile tell us today about uh, something of your company and what you do here thank you gayatri um very warm welcome to all the viewers and uh, first i would like to thank you uh, gayatri and bau for giving me an opportunity to go uh, live on facebook my name is pail acharya from striker edutech canada i'm very enthusiastic and fun loving person and i always like to learn about different technologies and software too that takes me into to uh, open this company so basically striker tech is a n to n it consulting company and uh, we provide training and skill development in uh, our one of vertical it is called striker edutech so we have four different verticals in this one is n to n it consulting Uh, another is IT staffing solution. Third one is digital solution, and fourth one is Striker EduTech, uh, which is mainly into training and skill development, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, at Striker EduTech, we provide training and uh, certification in different uh, programs and courses like data science, then. Uh, digital solutions like uh, web development um cloud computing then uh, devops then programming framework and other short term program courses good that's no good to know so about all these programs and courses how how does the certification and stuff work like when you are giving courses uh, given the situation of covid and um, are these courses offered all online or do they have to attend any classroom sessions with you at your office or at your center education center and uh, who gives this certification for the courses and how this certification is valid for a person to grow in his or her career it's very good question gayatri uh, first of all i would like to let you know that our all the programs and courses is benefited to different uh, streams uh, or different field uh, people like uh, whether they are from um, um, biotechnology or pharmacy or very fresh graduate students from it or any other field uh, information management mba we can say uh, anybody can take this courses all our courses are online only so is purely online uh, live sessions not the recorded sessions and we have our uh, very well trained um, training staff and uh, all the team members so uh, and all the instructors they are providing all the information um, online only and yes about certification uh, our striker edutech only providing uh certificates after completion uh, successfully completion of this programs so we have uh, project works in that we have assignments in that and we also took course um, exams so uh, once successfully uh, everybody who has taken this uh, courses they have to successfully completed all this uh, project work and course exam and once they completed we provide them all the certification regarding different courses how valid are these certificates like if you go out uh, with the striker tech uh, certificate to any company or uh, if they are applying if any young student or an international student is applying how valid are these certificates validation is there um, this really impact on their resumes because uh, anyways they are uh, enhancing some different technology skills it skills and it's value added in their resumes so obviously it is valid uh, for any of who has taken this course nowadays uh, due to this covid um, people are facing lot of problem with the jobs uh, they are not getting jobs easily 
even uh, they are losing their jobs uh, whether they are freshly graduates or whether they are um, like attending a second career or uh, immig new immigrants are there so they all are facing difficulties with the covid situation and there is a big slowdown in the market too so i would suggest that if you take this course in this uh, time period like it's really a short term courses so they can take this courses online and they enhance their skills uh, regarding it or regarding any different technologies and they value add in their resume with this courses and be job ready for the upcoming market that's great so um if you can elaborate on that if you can give particular example for uh, like i have attended a seminar before i would like to add to that that uh, industry professionals like say uh, for a dentist or a hygienist or something like that when they come from india or from any place of the world and uh, they find difficulty having uh, jobs in the same industry over here because then they have to learn in their profession get certified and get their own skill sets here again uh, verified and then apply for the job which is again a very competitive market i guess so if they have done something um, it related which uh, they they don't need to have a background i guess uh, it background or they don't need to know coding and stuff but they still can do yes and that gives a value added um, effect on their resume and they, yes. then i guess they can um, find jobs easily in their field uh, not necessarily a dentist or a hygienist but then they have they open up a uh different uh, platforms they can do a data analysis they can do um whatever um in hospitals and stuff like that being a dentist or a hygienist they get an edge i guess yes. so can you uh, give such more examples to the professionals so that they can have an idea or a student if they can have an idea in fact i had a question from one of the viewers before that that lady uh, had done a data like a quality 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 assurance yeah yes. and uh, she was like uh, confused whether they, uh, they should learn more it related uh, softwares to uh, back up their profession or they should again uh, do a quality thing um, and get into their profession because uh, temporarily they don't have any job and are looking for one so what will be your guidance towards that yes it's a very good thing um, uh, good to know about everyone that uh, our courses we have designed according to uh, different field keep in mind uh, to different fields and uh, uh, different type of people who are coming from different backgrounds right so it's not like that um, they require um, it background but if it is their it background or computer science background then it will be um, beneficial for them and it's an asset for them but if they don't have then they don't have to worry about it they just require a basic technical knowledge about it and basic information about what it it is and then they can able to take this courses it obviously it is in the starting uh, it will be a little bit difficult for them but gradually they learn because our educators are really very helpful and they provide all the assignments and project works related to the it field so uh, they are they frame they design all the courses and frame frame it very nicely so whoever takes it uh, from the different background or different um, field they can um, easily do these things and i have a example like uh, we did our webinars on healthcare analytics too uh, before a few weeks so in that i saw so many people uh, came from different background like you said uh, dentist pharmaceutical biotechnology uh, b pharmacy all that and then information management uh, even uh, from the finance background they all uh took the interest to join those webinars too so i would suggest that uh, rather than sitting at home if they take this type of courses short term and they uh, improve their skills in whether into it or other technologies 
then they can um, better improve themselves. Um, so, to add to that, they don't necessarily need to know programming. Uh, they need to. They, they need to have a basic understanding about it. That that's more than enough uh, about taking courses. That's okay. And that's the uh, point. That's our the, minimum yeah. minimum preference or qualification is like if they have diploma or degree in any any frame mm -hmm. or in any field, mm -hmm. it will be preferred. Yeah. And few few of our programs are uh, basically made for IT and uh, computer science background, but it is. It is an asset if they have it, but uh, it is not like necessity to... So it's that easily designed that any yes. layman can uh, come, even though if I'm an industry professional, say I'm a CA, I'm yes. a chartered accountant uh, and uh, I want to learn this kind of skills to back up my profession, then yes. it is easy for me is what yes. we are trying to get Yes, there. Yeah. That's good enough. That's great. So, um, especially now uh, coming back to the students because I had a lot many questions from students this time. Um, what are uh, for young students uh, and new immigrants, what are the different types of courses or how can you make it that more interesting for the students because coding and programming is not a very interesting um, thing. So, how do you make those uh, interesting things and what are the courses you can offer for young students right now uh, who are sitting at home, they don't have to go to classes, they are all getting bored <laughs> given the situation and the summer vacations going on. So, for young students and international students, what do you have to offer? Um, our, our all the programs, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that design uh, keeping every field uh, in mind. So. For young students or freshly graduates or international students, I would say that uh, apart from training, um, whatever programs we are providing, we also, um, I can say, we also refurnish them. It's not that we give training, but with training, the assignments or project work, with their HR skills, के रेज्यूमे अपडेशन है इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन है ये सब पे भी हम फोकस करते हैं जिससे आजकल के जो न्यू स्टूडेंट्स है या न्यू इमिग्रेंट्स है उनके रेज्यूमे को वो लोग ज्यादा अच्छे से ग्रूम कर सके दे दे रिक्वायर्ड ग्रूमिंग इन दैट दे हैव अ गुड समटाइम्स दे हैव अ गुड वर्क एक्सपीरियंस बट दे डोंट नो हाउ टू मेंशन इट और हाउ टू शो देयर अचीवमेंट इन देयर रेज्यूमेस सो वी वी आल्सो train them how to uh, uh, rebuild their resumes and how to uh, give a good impact of their achievements or of their skills and how they can show uh, show it nicely and uh, they become uh, prepared of upcoming world and upcoming job market. So we also uh, uh, assist, do the assessment on um, uh, job placements as well. We don't guarantee job uh, giving you a job, but we definitely try our level best to uh, do the job ass job placement assessments. So uh, on that, all this uh, makes them uh, focus on more like doing I IT skill uh, programs and like they can improve themselves by doing all this stuff because sometimes in resume I have seen a lot of uh, for an example I have seen a lot of uh, resumes like they did not uh, put proper alignments in that they did not put proper tabbing in that instead of using tabbing they have uh, used the space bars then they have not proper used proper words related to their job descriptions or their their IT skills or everything so we we try to train them on them resume on, building and yes like that. yes we do resume building activities too great during our uh, program trainings and so for so. students again back to my questions there are, there are a lot of people asking that what are the latest courses and the softwares you have to offer because these days everything is app based every like so do you have anything that uh, we can talk about app development or 
uh, where students can join it's fun to learn easy to learn and uh, easy to apply as a skill set yeah so we have uh, two programs uh, one is a digital um, solution but uh, in that we have devops mm -hmm. uh, in which we are uh, particularly focused on uh, mobile applications and uh, web developments so if they take the, that courses we can uh, more uh, teach them how to uh, learn about different apps how to create a different apps uh, on whether it is a computer laptop or whether it is a mobile so they can enhance their skills uh, on that and how long are these courses like what is the duration of these kind of courses are students able to join learn and finish off uh, within a set given period like say they have time of two months or a one month uh, is this it's basically short term, short -term yeah short term courses so two to three months they have to um, spend spend it in mm -hmm. that and it's uh, including everything it's not only about theoretical things uh, majority is um, more on practical, practical so they have to take their own computer for that or laptop for that if they have that then our instructor are teaching them online uh, mm -hmm. live session uh, and giving them all the information practically okay so at yes. the end of the period say for example if it's a two month uh, course or something they are able to go back with the proper app developed uh, whatever yes. they choose for or whatever the course is offering yes. as yes That's we great. also do info sessions uh, like if they miss any session or if they uh, like they did not understand then mm -hmm. before taking any project work or uh, before uh, taking any uh, course exam we also keep one info session that if uh, they want to know about it or they miss something they can get idea uh, with that in info session too that's great mm -hmm. Um, apart from students, uh, people uh, for like alternate career, um, due to this situation, many must have lost their job or many must be now rethinking their career options. So uh, for alternative career, what are your uh, suggestions or guidance for people? Uh, I would suggest that um, invest your time on yourself to uh, enhance your skills in IT or technology information technology or um, any other stuff so whatever short term courses are there either uh, we are providing so many different it uh, basic it programming or data science or healthcare analytics or devops or programming framework whatever you uh, like it and interested in it go for it invest your time and money in that and be job ready uh, for the upcoming market because uh, COVID situation is just current. It's not like for long lasting. Um, according to my knowledge, like within two, three months, uh, things are getting better. So within two, three months, people are like, right now job market is not that open, but it's not like every time it's like this. Uh, in future, it's going to be open and there will be more requirement about IT because nowadays people are doing work from home, mm -hmm. uh, study from home, everything is going online, whether it is uh, food related, whether it is study related, whether it is work related, uh, everything is going online. So obviously, IT future is bright in uh, in next sure. coming Days, so better go for uh, good things and short term courses. That's nice to know. And yes, um, this situation has taught us a very big lesson yes. that uh, nothing is steady and we need to keep moving. We need to keep exploring the options and yes. virtual is a word now we are needing to go towards. So considering that uh, and yes, we all need to uh, have a backup plan. Plan B always works, I guess. Yes. Um, now from the viewers uh, pile, uh, there are questions like uh, for kids uh, when we are going back to young students and international students, uh, how is the costing of your courses and how affordable are those? Uh, 
um, I, I would say it is affordable but it depends on uh, how you are taking the courses like it's starting from 300 to goes uh, on and on like mm -hmm. if you take more courses then cost goes according to that but it's starting cost is 300 to 400 um, per yeah, course. That, that is something we all can <laughs> think yeah, about investing yes. and it's uh, not a big deal kind of uh, yes. I suppose and when it comes to international students I guess uh, you must be having some plans of course to help them out and uh, to yes. you know like uh, spread out the amount if it's that big um, there is also a question about uh, security programming uh, and do you deal in computer security programming or do you have such things to offer? Currently, we are not offering that course, mm -hmm. but in future, yes, uh, as uh, we done this type of courses, we are planning to move on to other courses too. So gradually, we'll, um, in future, we'll plan about it. But you do offer the service, but not just the course. Yes. yes. Okay. Right now, we are not offering any type of uh, security courses, security. IT security. Okay, because I think that becomes a total uh, different platform, yes. total different uh, segment to touch. It is in, I can say, advanced level. It's very well advanced level and, IT uh, security. For that, you do need to have some coding or programming experience. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. We have uh, expert uh, expertise in that since 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. those who are doing all this stuff. But currently, we just introduce for basic IT skill programmings. And once uh, we done this, uh, all the IT programming, then we'll move on the advanced level too. Great. So what I'm hearing from your talk is more about that these courses are designed specially for people who are from non-IT background, non-IT skills. So yes. anybody and layman who is in their own industry professional, but want to explore and expand their resume and uh, field of work, they can learn this type of course yes. and then they can jump to uh, IT background related uh, yes. like uh, data analysis again or uh, if they are a hygienist or a dentist or any healthcare worker or any chartered accountant, they don't need to necessarily work in their field. But being a professional with an IT edge, they can have a better opportunity. Yes. More opportunities open up for them is what we are trying to achieve yes. here, right? Yes. Uh, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> yes, it's an asset, I can say. Uh, in your resume, as much as you have uh, technical skills, and if somebody see that in uh, you have a good technical skills, uh, whether it is IT or other technologies, then it will be an asset for your resume and yourself as well True. for the job market. And uh, one more question from the viewer is that uh, are they uh, going to get certificate uh, once they do the course uh, even for uh, young students? Yes. I think they are all everybody, treated equally. Yes, yes, everybody treated equally and everyone uh, gets once uh, successfully completed this course. Perfect. So. So I guess uh, most of the viewer questions we have addressed here and I will come back to Pile if you have anything else to offer um, or any special offers you have right now, any upcoming courses you want to announce uh, which is going to help especially to students, immigrants and uh, people who are searching for alternate careers. Yes, uh, in future we will definitely provide a few discounts on that but currently I just want to announce uh, for especially WOW viewers and uh, uh, those who are watching this, um, you can, uh, we generated one code for you all and um, that is SEDUVOW06. You can email me on info.ca at uh, strikeattack.com and um, that I'm repeating again. S adu wow 06 send me that code on uh, email and uh, I will we will give you all 10% discount on whatever our current uh, programs are there that is really wow thank yeah. you so much for that and uh, like I was mentioning uh, not just the offer but uh, do you have any courses to offer like any upcoming courses any anything you want to announce uh, using this platform which can help students or uh, people looking for alternate career, any new courses 
Uh, or currently, recently, currently say, next week, we have six to seven courses which I already mentioned mm-hmm. during our conversation. So um, this is all like one by one. If you take uh, any course, it's it's upgrading, and we are uh, introducing in future. Right now, I don't have more courses, but yes, uh, as soon as we'll plan out to bring more courses in, we'll un- uh, do announcement on. Uh, our website we also have our website um, uh, striker uh, edutech.com so uh, you can go on that and you can explore more about the different courses that's great any there. upcoming webinars uh, where people can join or if they want to reach you yes uh, they can join uh, live uh, webinars i'm uh, i'm uh, every time i'm posting a different webinar uh, info sessions and all that uh, information on uh, Facebook different uh, groups so you can check it out uh, in that if you are part of that group and if you need any information um, I'm repeating one more time my email address is info.ca at strikertech.com so you can email me on that and my number is 437-771 six eight nine six you can message me on that and we will provide you all the details so guys this was Payal Acharya from Striker Tech Edu and uh, she has given us valuable information on IT skills development and how you can upbuild your resume and uh, go through different segments uh, create more opportunities uh, even though you are uh, industry professionals uh, helping students new immigrants and people looking for alternate careers and yes, of course, thank you very much, Pyle, for the great offer for WOW viewers, especially. So thank you all for joining us and hope we addressed your questions and see you next week. Thank you.